Yo, what's going on YouTube? Uh, it's JKL back with a rebuild. I'm rebuilding the Philadelphia 76ers in today's video. And um, I am on the Xbox Series X for this video. I am not going to be on PlayStation 5 for this year. So I am just going to stick over here. So we have a My NBA file. I'm going to show you all of this stuff to show you how this stuff works and everything. So I just figured that um, I just figured that this would be a cool thing to show, I would assume. Um, we're not going to be customizing the draft, the roster, the salary cap or anything, I don't think. Uh, we'll, um, we'll turn the Stepien rule off. We'll turn the recently signed off. And restricted free agents on. Trade finances on. Waiver rules are on. Role playing. Yeah, you want to... Um, only thing you want to do with is morale and chemistry, which they have already. If you turn conversation, scoring skills, and tasks on, it will have more of a my GM feel when you play this. Play with friends. Just keep that off. If you want to make this an my, online my league, you can do that. Budget and finance, you can turn the salary cap, hard cap, and luxury tax off if you want to. You can change the prices of concessions, it looks like. Kind of what a Madden franchise you do in there. Regular season or off season, we're just going to start in the regular season. If we start in the off season, does it start in the off season like where we're at in the NBA right now? You think? We're just gonna um, you know, we're gonna do that for this video. We're gonna start in the off season for this video, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be controlling the Philadelphia 76ers. I wonder if um, use 2020 draft class. Uh, let's go look at this draft class real quick. I don't think this is the draft class. Yeah, no. No way. I was about to see if they had face scans or not. Let's see if they have one. We'll go with this one for now, it looks like. 2020 with real prospects. We've got LaMelo Ball, James Wiseman, Anthony Edwards, Isaac O'Curl, Danny Avita, Tyrese Halliburton. All right, yeah. The, all right, this draft class is going to have to do for now. We don't have that many draft classes in the game right now, and I'm pretty sure the rookies aren't in the game because they don't have the NBA contract signed. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing any cuts in this video. I want y'all to see this, like, I want y'all to see this raw. I want y'all to see raw gameplay, what it's going to be like when you load up my NBA. So, the first thing we're going to do, check out the staff. We've got Doc Rivers here, Sam Cassell's here, David Yeager's here. So you have two assistant coaches this year, which is dope. I love, I really like that actually. Michael Stauffer's back. If any of you wanted to um to bring Michael Stauffer back, shout out Michael Stauffer. Coach badges are back. You have some uh the good ones, and then you have the negative ones. Competitor short timer. So we have um two good coaches. I would say Jaeger has a uh, had doesn't have the best ratings. It looks like, but assistant GM. Uh, pretty sure these all, the rest of these guys are generated. Let's look at, uh, see if they have any, uh, Tyron Lue for the Clippers is here. We've got Steve Nash right here. We've got Steve Nash face scan. I, I can't say this dude's name. I know as a Pacers coach. Cannot say his name yet, though. Silas got the job for the, um... For the Rockets. Alright. So let's just get right into it. Hall of Fame inductions. Kobe. Shout out the Mamba. Rest in peace. We're going to advance from there. League meetings. Trade deadline occur a week sooner. No, we're not going to do that. And uh, looks like a lot of these would just be the same. Um, if you want to take a look at any of these, and you can. I th I'm prob it looks like these all might be the same. So, yeah, let's reject all of these. Let's go to the draft lottery. I don't think we have a chance to get in the top pick. But, yeah. Okay, so the Warriors in the top five twice. I'm not sure how that is a thing. I'm pretty sure that's from the Andrew Wiggins trade. I don't know if that protection has a uh, bad protection on it or something. But we, uh, we're we picking 19 in this draft right now. And uh, it looks like we are going into... Um, staff signing but we already have all of our staff we just need to pick up a um 
Owen Masters is here. Which, uh, he has Snake. Snake occasionally fails to deliver you tasks in hopes that failure, that your failure will help. Wow. Alright, so yeah. Um, Owen Masters may not be the move. But I'll end up, I'll sign him anyways. Even though he's a snake. He's, uh, probably the best. He's been the best GM in 2K for, for how many years now? So, uh, I think he's more than qualified for the job. So yeah, let's fill out this staff, sign everybody. And yeah, now we can look at going to front office, going to trades, going to the trade finder. We've got Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons. I want to keep both of these two guys. If it pisses you off that I'm keeping both of these two guys, watch a Sixers game. These two guys can definitely work together. And I think they will work together as a Sixers fan. Tobias Harris, I may keep, but the main guy I want to move right now is Al Horford. We've got to look and find a trade partner for Al Horford. We have to. I might do this deal already. This is a rumored deal in real life. Horford and Josh Richardson for Buddy Heald and, um, what's his name? Um, Harrison Barnes. If we can make that a deal, I will do it. But I know damn well I'm not going to pass up on Al Horford in a second rounder for Buddy Heald. How's Buddy Heald's badges looking? Blinders? Okay, yeah. he he He's a sniper, man. He's a sniper. He's got an 87 overall three-pointer, 81 overall player. We are trading 34-year-old Al Horford in a 2024 second rounder. This is just giving you some uh, tutorials for the first time. We are going to trade for Buddy Heald. Next, I don't think there's anybody else I want to move. Al Horford was the main guy I wanted to trade. Shake Milton's cool here. I'm pretty sure he should be under contract for next year. He is. Tobias Harris, I'll look at offers for him, but I don't think I will trade him. Zach Levine is there. Very interesting. That wouldn't be a bad move, I don't think. Let's see. Aaron Gordon and Terrence Ross. Robert Covington. Pick 11. Dort. I, I saw Dort got a face scan this year. I want to see his stats, though. Nine defensive badges. CJ McCollum is here. John Wall, Admiral Schofield. This Zach Levine deal interest me this Zach Levine deal definitely interests me what does he have on defense pogo stick some decent playmaking let's see 95 driving dunk 82 3 what's Tobias looking like 81 3 80 mid range so Zach Levine has a higher three point event Tobias Harris what's Tobias Harris driving dunk? oh Bad voice crack. Um, I am just waking up while I'm recording this video, so I may have some voice cracks here and there. I may may stutter here and there. Maybe a little struggle. It looks like we may keep on uh keep a hold on Tobias Harris for this year. I will look at offers a little bit later, but I am not seeing anything right now. What about if we threw in our pick this year? See if that spices the offer up at all. CJ Warren's at 85 after that huge bubble he had. <laughs> Pretty crazy. He went off. Dropped 50 on us, sadly. Not not proud to say that. Um, Got Al Horford again. They want to trade Al Horford. Right after he passes his physical, just get him out of here. Did I see uh, DeJounte Murray's here? DeJounte Murray. Him and Ben Simmons at the defensive backcourt. That shooting's pretty bad, but... That'd be an insane duo, I would say. This this deal tempts me because DeJounte's a very good young guy. But I feel like playing off of Ben Simmons, Tobias is better. We just got Buddy healed. Um, Yeah, it would, it would have to be a shooter or something. Like, Seth Curry honestly wouldn't be bad because he's a great shooter. Jalen Brunson could be a good backup point guard. 
if we made a deal like this in real life for Steph Curry or Seth Curry and Jalen Brunson, I honestly wouldn't be too mad for uh, if we traded Tobias Harris for that. Because we're getting a good backup point guard and we're getting one of the best shooters in the NBA. Which we should have kept J.J. Redick in the first place. Our, it blows my mind how bad the Sixers have messed up in like recent memory. It's honestly depressing. Like, we went from being one Kawhi shot away from a possible NBA Finals appearance. We're going to the draft. Um, but yeah, we are one Kawhi shot away from going to the um to the Finals probably. And now it, we're, we look like a struggle of a team. Like we look like we shouldn't even be here. Let's look at this draft though. Cole Anthony, RJ Hampton is here. Let's see. I'm trying to see if they have. I'm not expecting to see many um many non auto generated guys, so we may have to go with the guy at the top. Cole Anthony, Vernon Carey's here. How tall is Vernon Carey? Six ten two seventy. See what scouts are saying about him. Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony or RJ Hampton? Comparing him to John Wall. Comparing him to Dennis Johnson. RJ Hampton's a year younger. Looks like he has a longer wingspan. Who's a better three ball? Cole Anthony does by a lot. We are going to take Cole Anthony. And I honestly wouldn't be mad if we took Cole Anthony in real life. I honestly kind of want Cole Anthony. So yeah, I would I wouldn't I would not mind taking him. My voice keeps cracking, man. I don't know why. We got some seconds. I plan on just trading these if I can. I'll take picks next year if I doesn't really bother me any. We can um send to the end of the draft. Rookie signing, Cole Anthony, the only guy. Team player options. Josh Richardson declined. I'm not too mad at it. I would decline too. I'm going to bring Zaire Smith back and probably trade him. I'm pretty sure that's the move. Okay. What? All right, so let's trade Zaire Smith. On the last year of his contract, he hasn't been anything for us so far. We can bring Landry Shamit back. We can trade him just for a first rounder. Two first rounders. Two first rounders. Who's giving me two first? Lakers. Magic are. I'm giving a first back, though. Let's do... Let's get these Thunder picks. I'll take the Thunder picks. Mario Shayok we will not bring back. I do think he's pretty good in real life, though. He looks like a pretty good shooter. Um, 81 three-pointer. I would bump that up just a little bit to maybe an 84. He's a pretty good sniper. And in the G League, he's been amazing for us. So, I mean, I, I don't have anything to say other than that. Giannis is in free agency. Um, unrestricted free agent, and he's... Going to either the Heat or the Lakers. LeBron is in free agency. The Lakers declined their option on LeBron James. They're bidding on on Giannis. Kawhi declined his option. He's going back to the Raptors, it looks like. Anthony Davis is going to the Atlanta Hawks. Restricted free agent Jason Tatum. This free agency is stacked. Let's see, though. We got to get somebody in our budget. We have $5 million to spend. So, yeah. Let's go down to our budget of players. Our budget of players consists of Aaron Baines. Let's go down to affordable, though. See if we can snag some shooters. Uh, we have bird rights on Josh Richardson. So, he could be a sign-in trade candidate. Possibly. 
Let's see what he's asking for. Um, I think that's the move actually because he would bring in the most trade value, I would assume. So yeah, how much money would Josh fifteen a year? It says we have bird. Oh, salary fifteen. Okay. Yeah, let's give Josh Richardson a fat contract. I don't think he'll turn seventy seven million down. We're gonna look to trade him though, because I don't think Josh Richardson really fits if he's not a backup on this team. And he's a he would be the best backup in the NBA probably. I think he would be sixth man of the year. But I mean he just doesn't really fit. He's a little too slow to run point guard, but a little bit undersized to run the two guard. He's not a good enough shooter to space out with Ben Simmons on the floor. And that's the problem with the Sixers. We ha we have too many guys that cancel out each other. And it's honestly frustrating, but what can you do? We're going to renounce the rights on everybody here. Um, I don't think... I'll, I'll keep Alec Burks here, just in case. But yeah, let's get our moratorium. Let's see if we can trade Josh Richardson. If we could trade Josh Richardson... Let's see where we could trade him. Let's go trade finder. Josh Richardson. Let's look to move him. I don't want to move him for picks. Mitchell Robinson's here. Imagine Joel and Mitchell Robinson. Defense would be crazy. Nikhil Alexander-Walker honestly would not be bad. I wouldn't be mad with that. Draymond is here. Dort is here and a pick. We already have Thibel, though. Endorse a liability on offense. Um, Marcus Smart is here. He has a god-awful mid-range. Clint Capel is here. Two first-rounders. Two first-rounders from the Hornets, though. I am going to take this deal for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker looks pretty good, man. <laughs> I think it'll be pretty good. And I'm getting a pick out of it so I can end up flipping that. What if I change Josh Richardson's position? Will that upgrade his overall? I'm gonna show us uh, the edit player, it looks like. If I put Josh Richardson out a small forward, he doesn't go up. Only person who goes up is Thibel. It looks like Cole Anthony does. We're going to keep him there. Ben goes up to a 92 at small forward, so that's worth noting. Yeah, I want to build around Ben and Joel. I'm pretty much in the seat of Daryl Morey right now. Josh Richardson. I say let's pull the trigger on him. Let's throw, let's throw two seconds. Two seconds and Josh Richardson. What does this get me? Pistons first, and Svima Kailuk. Not seeing anything else right now. What if I throw in a first and a second? Looks like we're not getting any different offers. Same players, maybe with a different package, it looks like. Two first and Josh Richardson. This is going to be the last time I'll look to... Um, yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna we're we're gonna find somebody for Josh Richardson. May have to manually make a trade. Josh Richardson. Interesting. I honestly might do that Mitchell Robinson deal though. A Mitchell Robinson and Bead bat like front court would be insane. And I feel like in Sim this would be an insane team. Let's think about it though. Dante DiVincenzo, Brooke Lopez. Interesting. Honestly, not a too bad of a deal, but we're giving up a lot of picks. But in a win now situation, Brooke's a decent three pointer for a big man. Kevin Porter Jr. is here, actually. I feel like Kevin Porter only has a 77 three ball. I f that went that went down from a lot from 2K uh, 20. 21 current gen he used to have a sniper man i thought he i thought he would still have a sniper in this game but i guess not um 
Keldon Johnson's here. Keldon Johnson, I like his game in real life. He's pretty good. And I think he just needs to develop more. Just give him some more time. See what you have there. What's Mr. Robinson's contract look? Yeah, that's why I don't want to trade for him. He's under contract. He's going to expire after this year. I say let's pull the trigger on Kevin Porter Jr. And we can flip Larry Nance, hopefully. I don't know what we could flip him for. But we're just trying to get younger. We're just trying to go back to where the Sixers were before everything got messed up. Get some young guys with potential. Evaluate. See what you have. And then go from there. Nikhil Alexander-Walker coming to the team. We're just getting some a bunch of young guys, man. A bunch of young guys. Oldest guy on the team is Tobias Harris. I will look to move Tobias Harris right here, though. We'll see what we can get for him. Going Window Carter. Victor Oladipo, DeJounte Murray, CJ McCollum, DeJounte Murray, DeMont, or DeJounte, not DeMonte, DeJounte Murray interests me a lot, and I honestly might pull the trigger on a DeJounte Murray trade, I'm not sure though, DeJounte Murray, do you value DeJounte Murray or Tobias Harris more in real life. Tobias has some good shooting badges. While DeJounte has none. So I feel like Tobias is worth keeping, at least for now. We'll see how he does by the end of the year. But we just need to check out free agency now. See if we can pick up a backup big man. And then we should be good other than that. JaVale McGee's here. Chris Boucher. JaVale McGee. Enos Cantor's here. Boban. We could bring Boban back. See what they got for power forwards. Ursan, bring him back to Philly. Um, I'm not really seeing anything else here. Ben McLemore, he had a pretty good year with the Rockets. I would say a uh, resurrection year. I feel like he'll get signed next year. I don't think he would have gotten signed if he didn't play that. I don't even know if you could say that well. Danny Green is here. Probably the most hated player in the NBA right now. Alex Caruso's here. Interesting. Don't really need any backup guards. I say let's just go snag JaVale McGee. Probably the best backup big available. So, yeah, if we give him... This should be enough to bring JaVale in. See what for a number one team. And then I say, see if JaVale signs. Then we'll look to bring in a, let's go with another backup. See if we can get any stretch bigs. Any stretch bigs here? Jared Dudley, of course. Might just have to sign him for trolling purposes. I'll sign Ursan. Illy so was pretty good in real life. He was so good when he was here. Kyle Korver, bring him here. Need all shooting I can. And yeah, let's let's sign the GOAT, Jared Dudley. So yeah, Kyle Korver, Jared Dudley, and Ursan sign. How many players do we have right now? How many players do we have? We have two point guards, four shooting guards, so that's six. Got nine, 11, 13. All right, so we're at 13. We'll, we will sign one more guy. We'll sign. Yeah, let's bring Boban back. We need to bring the Bobby and Toby show back. In full effect. Derrick Rose is here. Goran Dragic's here. Free agency is still pretty stacked. Like, you can get some very good guys here. Duncan Robinson's here in free agency. He's restricted. So, he's probably going to go back. Player progression, though. So, if you start in the offseason, you will start in the offseason of the current NBA. If you start in the regular season, it just doesn't add the rookies, it looks like. Ben Simmons up two overalls to an 89. Thibault's up three to a 78. Kevin Porter's up one. JaVale McGee is regressing. Ursan Boban regress. Nikhil Alexander Walker's getting better. Kyle Lor uh, Kyle Corver, not Lorver. Jared Dudley and uh, Kyle Corver go down three overalls. Pretty severe, but can't expect much from the GOAT. Now, on a more serious note. We are going to next season. Going to next season. 
the sim time seem pretty good we're just gonna auto generate from here on out too early in the game to to mess with these contracts it looks like or to mess with these draft classes so yeah we're just gonna stick here I don't know our injuries on is that a setting I can turn on and off injuries all right yeah we're gonna turn injuries off let's see what this rotation is looking like this looks clean this is a terrible picture of Diable. It looks very blurred. <laughs> Ursan's back in a um Okay, yeah. So Tobias Tobias is gonna slide down. Tobias is gonna slide down to power forward. That's what's gonna happen. Tobias, let's make him a power forward. Let's go make him a secondary small forward. Secondary small forward. <laughs> Now that we did that, coach game plan should have. I want Buddy Heal to start. If I put Thibault at small forward, all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. This lineup right here: Ben Simmons at point guard, Buddy Heal at shooting guard, Thibault at small forward, Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris at power forward. Joel Embiid at center. Kevin Porter Jr. is here. JaVale McGee, Shake Milton. I want to kill Alexander Walker to play. Or we can send him to the G League. That may be the move. To kill Alexander Walker to the G League. That's what we're going to do. To kill Alexander Walker is going to the Blue Coats. And we are going to get to Simmons. Let's check out these sim times on next gen. Sim white regular season. Um, I don't know what we just did. I'll leave that there. And let the CPU do that. Disable CPU offers. Let's see how well we do. These sim speeds don't look terrible so far. Looks like we're going through this season pretty fast. We are looking pretty good. 10 and 3 so far. So yeah, we... Definitely have a winning record. We're doing pretty well so far. Beat the Heat on a win streak right here. Just beat the Kings, beat the Knicks, beat the Pacers. Lose to the Jazz. I'm going to stop on I'm going to stop on the beginning of February. Check out the stats and see how the team's doing. Stop at January 31 after this Heat game. Beat the Heat. Let's check out stats for the season so far. I mean, we look like we, we're doing very well. Uh, looks like Dame has that cover athlete juice. Kyrie's doing very well. Luka's doing very well. All the top dogs are doing well. Did I just see De'Aaron Fox on the damn Lakers? De'Aaron Fox is on the Lakers. Probably should have showed this. All right, let's see if there's any weird signings. Kawhi is back in Toronto. Um, De'Aaron Fox is in the a Lakers uniform. James Harden is still there. Spencer Dinwiddie is on the Pistons. Um, Anthony Davis stayed. Giannis is on the Heat. LeBron is on OKC Thunder. Paul George is on the Charlotte Hornets. Derrick Rose is on the Jazz. This is this is weird. Did I just see Buddy healed? Okay. All right, yeah, we're going to – can we look at um player stats? Ben Simmons is almost averaging a triple-double. So, yeah, you love to see that. Embiid, 23-13. Love to see it. We'll see. Has Ben made a three this year? No threes. Not expecting him to take any. Buddy Heald is on 21 points per game on – looks like he's shooting seven threes a game and at shooting 47%. So, yeah, amazing shooting percentages for Buddy Hill. Tobias Harris may look to have to move him in the offseason, sadly. Diable's not doing anything on offense, but um, 1.8 steals per game is what he's here for. Here to get some steals. Ben Simmons might be in defensive play of the year conversation. 2.3 steals a game, almost a block. So, yeah, he's he's doing very well defensively, as he is in real life. On, he's a, in my opinion, he's the best defender in the NBA. But I've watched him so much, so I may be a little biased. 
But, I mean, that's just my opinion at the end of the day. Let's see what we can do. 26 and 6. Got the two Miami games, or two Florida games coming up, I should say. Simspeeds look like they've gone down a little bit. Looks like the beginning of the season they were very fast. Now they're slowing down a little bit. Rockets beat the Rockets. See if we can beat the Thunder right here. Yeah, we're 32 and 7, so I mean we're looking good. Celtics beat the Celtics. Lose to get blown out by the Mavericks. 150 to 106. So that's just not a defensive game at all. Contract extension deadline. I'm gonna stop here. I want to see what this is like. Uh, I want to see if there's anything different with this. I would, I guess you could say. Embiid will resign. So, uh, do we want to uh, sign the best center in the NBA to a contract? Shake Milton's gonna resign also. We are about to be in cap hell. So yeah, it looks like you can resign players without. Um, Embiid is back. And let's see if we can bring. Shake Milton is back. So Shake Milton is back. Embiid is back on new contracts. So you can extend guys even if they aren't on the last year of their contract as long as they have enough bird years, I would assume. I think that's how that works. If I'm not, let me know in the comments down below. Let's see what we can do. All-star captains. Any of our guys make it. Looks like um Don uh Ben Simmons is a starter. Joel Embiid is a starter. Or on the bench of the of Team Giannis to the right. Team LeBron, we have LeBron, Anthony Davis, Lillard, Irving, Jokic. The bench is stacked with Curry, Towns, Tatum, Mitchell, Trey Young, uh Brandon Ingram, and DeAndre Ayton. He's making an all-star game. So yeah, I think we just leave this here. Don't think there's anything worth stopping over. Trade deadline, I don't think I'm going to make any moves. I don't think I'm going to make any moves. The team looks good where it's at, in my opinion. I think the team looks good. I mean, we have a great record. I would assume if we're not first in the East, we are very close. Uh, 40 and 18. That's got to be up there for first in the East. But I think this team might content year one it looks like it may contend year one so uh we'll see how far this goes hornets hawks dropped two games to probably one of the worst worst teams in the nba have a very bad stretch coming up with the bulls and suns in back-to-back -back games those should be easy wins Blow one to the uh, to the Grizzlies right there. Damian Lillard is your MVP on insane numbers. 36 and a half points per game in tennis. It's just going to be like this. LaMelo Ball, 20 and 10. If he does, cl I mean, the shooting percentages aren't that off. Those are probably his shooting percentages in real life. So, you know what? I'll let him rock. Ricky Rubio, sixth man of the year. That's cool. Defensive player of the year. Jonathan Isaac. Oh, my God. Two steals and 2.7 blocks a game? Holy Lord. They made this man, Jonathan Isaac, a beast. Michael Porter Jr. is on the Lakers now. That is ugly. Doc Rivers, Coach of the Year. So I'm assuming we are on the first seed. Um, ben Simmons, All-NBA second team. Love to see it. Embiid, third team. Love to see it. All-NBA, for All-Defensive all first team. Ben Simmons is here. DeJounte Murray is here, so maybe... It, it's a good idea to maybe get him. Uh, he's definitely an all-defensive type of defensive player, I guess you could say. But uh, I don't know if it was worth the trade. Devin Vassell, if he comes to the Hawks, I will not be mad. We have Washington round one, though. We'll see if this is a, a fairly easy series or not. We uh we went six with them. So let's them get game by game. Drop one to the Hawks. Looks like drop one. Don't drop this one. Let's just send the round. I, I was confident in that one. Are we going to the finals? Are we going to the finals year one? Are we going to beat Giannis? 
Let's look at this box score. Giannis, Jimmy Butler. That's hard to beat, man. That is hard to beat. This is a revenge series for us. Tyler Hero went off that game. Ben Simmons with a great game. Tobias with a good game. Kevin Porter Jr. What I tell you? Stop sleeping on my man's Kevin Porter Jr. Buddy Hill, rough shooting game. And same with Embiid. Stuff happens, though. 2-2. Two, two. We drop in seven. I was confident. I, I, I was confident. Giannis' finals MVP. That's rough. That's rough. We'll go one more season. Just uh, I just wanted to make this video to show y'all. I will probably do another Sixers rebuild. Or possibly a Sixers My League series in the future. But I just wanted to get this... Um, show y'all what the my nba is like no cuts no nothing um all the voice cracks are being left in here um so uh this is just what i wanted to show y'all mike d'antoni's a wants to be an assistant coach now i will take him as an assistant if he wants to come here which he does which he does so um mike d'antoni's here as an assistant coach going to the uh nba draft uh, I, okay, okay. I was about to trip out if I didn't skip some, uh, if I skip league meetings. Sims user pick. I don't know if we have a pick this year. We're picking in the second round. See if there's any stud in the second round here. Anybody compared to a good player? All NBA. She was compared to an all NBA. We'll take him. He just looks like a raw prospect. So maybe we've got something here. Uh, looks like we have another pick in the second round. No, I'll make this pick. Let's uh starter any any bench Jeff Withy. Yeah, that's not a comparison you want, brother. Ty Lawson, Brandon Wright. Um Sasha Sasha Pavich. I'm interested in that 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 name. Does he have tattoos? Is that a thing? Can you put tattoos on guys now? It looks like he has a tattoo. I'm about to go into um, we got a 71 and a 74, so those are pretty good draft. That was a pretty good draft, I, I guess you could say. Um, Dennis Meyer, 74 overall. Looks like he has some potential. I don't know if he has all NBA potential. They declined my guy. Okay, so he's not coming to the team. Thibault's coming back. Nikhil Alexander Walker's coming back. Did I put Thibault in the G League? Was Thibault in the G League? I thought I put Alexander Walker in the G League. Oh, Lord. Well, that is kind of embarrassing if I did. So, uh, Moratorium. Luka's in free agency. Curry's unrestricted free agent. <laughs> He's going to Boston. Do we have any money? We have money to give five million. We have five million money. Uh, no bird rights on anybody. So yeah, we're we're just playing the um, the what what we can afford game now. We're we're on uh we're on food stamps right now. We are um it's very rough for this organization money wise. This um see this is the biggest problem with the Sixers is they are they are so they're in luxury tax now. And with the salary cap possibly going down, it's only gonna get worse. So you gotta find something. You gotta make something work. And I hope they do, man. It's gonna be frustrating if they don't. Uh, I think let's see what we need, man. Point guard we're good at, shooting guard we're good at. Small forward, we're good at. So, yeah, we just need a backup power forward. Hopefully, uh, more of a wing player, I guess. So, small forward that can play power forward. Um, Any any sharpshooters here? Lucas Watson, Tony Snell. I don't know if Tony Snell defines as a sharpshooter, but... um, Ersan, we could bring him back. Markeith Morris. Jonah Boulder wants five million, not in a million years. Who would the Sixers want? Matt Thomas is here. I'm down. 
I don't know if he accepts a contract, but he's a good shooter, man. And they don't match it. They did not match the contract offer on, what's his name? On Matt Thomas. So, Matt Thomas is on the squad now. We just need a, um, just need a backup power forward, I guess. Uh, let's go Marvin Williams, maybe. Chandler Parsons. That's hilarious. Any good shooters for the low? Um, looks like we have two outstanding no names. This dude's name is Sylvester Cheeks. His name is Sylvester Cheeks. Oh, God. That's a terrible name. Let's sign this dude to a two-way deal. Looks like he can shoot. Um, bring Mike Buscala back. Did y'all ever see the Mike Muscala allegations with uh, him and Jimmy Butler's dad or something? Where he supposedly called Jimmy Butler the N-word or something and his dad heard about it. Some crazy shit like that happened. And it was hilarious to like... I think that... I don't know if Mike Muscala got cut or something. Tobias... Oh, Tobias did not regress. It is because of the position change. I was about to say, bro, you're regressing? Kevin Porter's here. 80 overall. Big 80. Nikhil Alexander Walker needs to get traded. That's what I that's what I'm taking out of this year. But yeah, Mike Muscala. I don't know if he had a burner account or what the deal was with Mike Muscala. But he had some crazy ass allegation with him and Jimmy Butler. Um, we are going to trade Nikhil Alexander Walker. Uh I thought he would develop pretty well. He has not developed at all. Um, and that may be my fault. I thought I put him in the G League, and it looks like I did not. Taco Fall, seven foot five. He's in the NBA, so I mean, maybe worth bringing him in. I guess I don't know. We need a wing player that can contribute immediately. So Mike Muscala is going to take Javale McGee's spot. So let's try and get a good wing player. We need a good wing player. Got four offers. Terrence Ross. Not a bad wing player. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can... Um, is there a find player finder? This is what I wanted. Let's see how player finder is this year. We are looking for a shooting guard small forward making no more than 11 million. Tyler Hero. 86 overall Tyler Hero, by the way. 90 overall three-pointer, so... Tyler Hero progresses very well in this. There is an overseas player who is absolutely insane. Um, he is just an absolute demigod. So watch out for these in your my leagues. Anthony Edwards is here. Um, don't see any names that particularly catch my eye. Gary Trent Jr. I wonder what his value is. I would assume a lot. But we'll see if we can lure him out. Oh, he's not making he's not making enough money. We've got to find somebody making around ten million. That is a weird picture of Jordan Clarkson. Terrence Davis, uh he has some crazy allegations uh, on him right now, so I don't know if I want that in my organization. Um I don't know. I, I don't know who to go for. That's the thing. I, I don't know. I don't know who is good in this sim yet. Um, it's probably going to take some time. What's DeAndre Hunter's value looking like? If we can get DeAndre Hunter on the squad, that would be ideal. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, JaVale McGee. And let's just throw picks at him. Y'all are not championship contenders. I promise you. Well, y'all are, but. DeAndre Hunter's a no-go, it looks like. That's kind of depressing. That's kind of depressing. What about Kevin Herter? Kevin Herter and... Do you have any guy that can make a money? Kelly Olenek. 
<laughs> Kelly Olenek has a no trade, or hurt her as a no trade clause. So that's an L. Let's see if we can get uh, Obi Toppin went late in the draft, it looks like. I don't know who to go for now. Robert Covington? Is Robert Covington the move? Let's see if we can get Robert Covington, who is in a New York Knicks uniform now. Disgusting. Let's get uh, JaVale and hit this trade. So, yeah, we're going to trade a bunch of firsts for Robert Covington. That's where we are at right now. So we got Robert Covington on the squad. Let's go ahead and make him a small forward. 83 overall. Let's hope Robert Covington is better in this game than he is in uh past two Ks because um he, he I mean Robert Covington has been terrible in sim in past two Ks. So yeah, let's get rid of Alexander Walker. What do we have too many of? Shooting guard. So we just need to trade. Honestly, Shake Milton might have to go. What did Shake Milton average last year? Eight and a half. Not very good shooting percentages. Yeah, Shake Milton's going. I would not trade him in real life. I think he has potential to be not a star, but I think he has potential to be a, one of the better shooters in the NBA. Boucher. Boucher's not bad. Marcus Smart. Just need somebody that'll help me win now. Julius Randle. I don't know if Julius Randle helps me win now, but... I mean, he could... He, I mean, he's pretty good. Boucher's here. He's a good defender, man. We are gonna pick up Chris Boucher. And Boucher is going to be your backup center. And I think that might be the rotation. Rotation is going to look like this right here. Got Ben Simmons, Buddy Heald, Robert Covington, Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid. We've got Thibault, Porter, Boucher, Matt Thomas, Cole Anthony off the bench. We'll make this a 10-man rotation. Um, first scoring option. Let's go Buddy Heald. I think he's probably the best pure scorer on this team right now. Next, we'll go Embiid, and then no option after that. Actually, I'll swap these two. Embiid is probably the guy you want getting buckets. Then Heald. So, yeah, if we can... Pretty much the reasoning for this team is you want Ben Simmons to be able to play low post and play make with the ball. His vision is so good, and he can find you if you're open on a three. Because you have to double team him in the post. He's so good. Buddy Heald on the wing. And Covington on the wing. Tobias Harris on the wing. All provide those shooting spots on the wing spot. Embiid is on the other side of Ben Simmons. To where if Ben. Ben is smart enough to read a double team so fast. To where he can get that ball out. So that's the reasoning for that. Doc Rivers. Going to be cool here. Offensive focus, um, play through the star. I think that's obvious. That's what the Sixers do, play through Embiid. Offensive tempo, we want to go shoot at will. I mean, we, we want to get buckets. Offensive rebounding, some crash, other things get back. I feel like that's the best one, in my opinion. Limit perimeter shots, we're in a perimeter NBA, so I feel like that would be the best option. Um, play physical defense. This is Philly basketball. We need to get down and dirty and run in transition. Now, this is going to be the last year. The season is ending in June, which is hilarious. So when does the season start? This is the short NBA season. So we're starting in December, and it's ending in June. Okay.
sign. See, this is a contract I'd give to Tobias Harris. That would definitely give him that contract. Uh, Kevin Porter's gonna... Is Kevin Porter on the last year of his deal? He is. And so is Thibel. But this is the last year of the rebuild, so... We're just trying to get through this year. See if we can make a title run. And then... Just recap this video. See what we can do. I'm about to go play in the city after this. And uh, we're gonna have some fun, man. Let's see. NBA draft going on right now. Hawks are a landing spot for Drew Holiday. That is a thing. Let's see if any other NBA news. Today's trade deadline? Yeah, no. 39 and 14. I feel like this team is good enough. I'm trying to see if there's any... uh. Trying to see if there's any NBA news. It doesn't look like there's anybody. I saw the Hawks are open to trading their pick, it looks like. Other than that. Other than that, uh, the Celtics, Thunder, and another team are interested in trading up. I don't know why the Celtics want to trade up. I want to know who they're looking at. Um, it interests me as a Philly fan to uh, see who they're going for. I would say they would go for a wing player. I don't think they would look at a guard, but uh, I'm assuming wing players or a center. I mean, maybe James Wiseman they're looking at. I don't know. NBA awards, Giannis on the Heat, MVP. Auto-generated guy on Golden State. Devontae Graham, sixth man. Defensive player of the year, Jonathan Isaac. Yeah, get Jonathan Isaac in your my NBAs. In your my NBAs, pick up Jonathan Isaac. He is the best defender in the NBA. Gary Trent Jr., most improved. I tried trading for him, so uh, maybe they saw something. I, I didn't. No, uh, Herman Bowman is our executive of the year, so that that would be me. All-NBA first team, Joel. The process. Embiid, we made him the first scoring option. He went from an all-team all third NBA. And now, he is the best big man in the NBA without a doubt, it looks like. We are going over to career stats, 23 and a half, 12 and a half, three and a half, not a half, two blocks per game and a steal per game. What a beast. Let's see, uh, did Ben make any team? LaMelo's on all-NBA all team in his second year. Ben Simmons is here, 20 points per game, seven and a half rebounds, eight assists. So a little bit worse of a year, but he uh, shot about the same percentage. And um, still no threes out of him, it looks like. So, yeah, we're going um, all defensive second team. DeJounte Murray's here again. So, pick up DeJounte Murray and uh, Jonathan Isaac. Go do your team a favor if you want some good defense. Those look to be two guys. Going against Brooklyn in round one, and we lose in seven. Let's see who wins this playoffs. Heat win in six. Yeah, with Giannis and Jimmy Butler, that is just an overpowered duo. And in 2K, that Giannis just is going to carry. He's too good in Sim. But that's going to do it for me. Appreciate y'all watching the video if y'all got here this far. This is a little bit longer of a video. I just wanted to get a video out with no cuts, just showing what is new. This is honestly a lot of the same stuff, just a newer environment, I would say, a newer feel to it. But if you do want to turn on some of the other settings that make it more of a my GM feel, you may have a little bit more fun on this. If you want to rebuild some teams like, I feel like if you uh, were to rebuild a team like that, you may be able to um, go more in depth with what you're doing with the team, how you're running a team. But if you're just trying to do a regular My League, they have the the regular My League settings for a regular My League already preset. So other than that, you'll be fine. Just mess around with the settings, see what you like, what you don't, and uh yeah, guys, If uh, check out all my socials down below. I stream on Twitch almost every day if you're interested. Join my Discord if you're interested in uh, keeping up with me. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And that's all. I'm out. Peace.